Let's check out a notable piece from Colores, our arts program here at New Mexico PBS. Our colleagues won a Rocky Mountain Emmy Award in the Historic Cultural Segment category for their story on Pueblo Bonito, an important historical site in Chaco Canyon. Hidden by its remote location is one of New Mexico's great works of architecture. And one of the most enduring. More a monument than ruin, Pueblo Bonito reaches out over the centuries. What was the compelling motivation to make that building? That one place was that important to the ancient people of Chaco. And not just a group, but all these groups over 250 years. The fact that it wasn't planned all at once makes it even more exciting for me. It's as if somebody started a piece of artwork and expanded on it. Some people say that the bottom level is basket maker, and that's 600s. And then you have the beginning structure of it in the about 850, and layer after layer, five major stages, and by 1120, it's sealed off. People's lives, people's fingers, people's touches, are people's minds, people's emotions are all in it. You know, you haul rock from on top of the cliffs all the way down. And you go cut them up and, you, and you've cut your finger in the meantime and your kids are screaming and it's in that place. Just Bonito alone, not all the other Chaco sites. It's just incredible. It's over three acres. It had over 36 kivas through time. It was four stories high, had over 700 rooms. And then it had precise orientation to the key points of the sun. The midday position, solar noon, every day, no shadow on the mid wall. And the other major axis is the east-west wall, which is exactly to the equinox. That's the middle of the year. If we allow ourselves even a little bit to, to feel where we are and feel the kind of relationships in terms of that line with this line, that, that form with this form, myself within it. Day after day, night after night, year after year, watching the drama in the sky happening, watching the drama on the land happening and seeing what the points are around you. Uh, it's, it's all there. What we think about the world is all encoded in those walls. I think you are not just in that building. You are part of the cycles of the sky, the cosmos. Bonita was not probably built by one person with a big dream, but simply that people were moving around that land, knowing it so well, and becoming a part of that place. Looking at Benito as a work of art is, is fascinating. Where in the world do you find a structure built with that beautiful curve? I think that was an aesthetic act. Combined with that is the right angle of the cardinal directions. There was a lot of feeling rightness about it. The sun comes up there, of course it does. And this, this line feels 
like, yes, we're going to catch the energy right here, right at this point, and we know this is how it happens. That combination of the rigor of those alignments that are perpendicular and that beautiful sweep of the curve is, is, is very stunning. We so tend to pull form and function apart, but I think if you're doing things unconsciously, with just letting the flow come through you. That's what the spiral is about. It's just letting the, the, the energy come through you. Then you do something as eloquent as that. How do you tell the story of such enigmatic stuff? The only thing to do is go back to what's there. It's still talking to us. It's still alive. I think for a lot of people, including Pueblo people, modern Pueblo people, it's like a reminder of what we used to know and how we used to live and how we, what we used to acknowledge in the world that we don't anymore. That uh, we are part of a natural organization, we are part of a natural structure. had a God, we never had a super human, we never went that direction. It was always the, it was always the natural world around us. You're aware of all of those, all of the movements in the sky and the changes in the wind and where the sun is coming. If you have to live in it, why are you intensely aware of it? big things about what we got in terms of philosophy, modern Pueblo people from Chaco times, is that the world is about movement. And people on this, on this whole continent had the idea that our relationship with the natural world, with the sky, with the earth, with landforms, was the most important thing that there is 